Larry Enticer, Tim Horton, their famous tuxedo. Canada's famous for a lot of cool stuff. Today, we're gonna go over a Canadian sled with two wheels that's set up for shredding. Let's dive into it. I want to give a big shout out to Jensen USA. They made this video possible and they've been a big supporter of all my content. I have a link to this bike, the Norco Sight VLT, in the YouTube description below. That link takes you over to Jensen USA and anything you purchase from Jensen will directly help support my channel. We couldn't make these videos without you guys and we appreciate you doing your online shopping with Jensen USA. Beyond Jensen, I'm also supported by PNW Components, Industry 9, Cali Protectives, Kitspo Cycling Apparel, and Shimano. I do have an interesting relationship with Ibis Cycles. Not only did I used to work there, but I'm still a sponsored rider. I ride their bikes in about half my online videos, and I do three standalone sponsored Ibis videos a year. All right, let's jump into the video. 2020 has been a crazy year, but I've been lucky enough that it's brought me the opportunity to ride four different Canadian bikes from four different Canadian brands. Thus far, we've had the wild Chromeg Stylus, the awesome Rocky Mountain Altitude, the Da Vinci AC e-bike, and finally, this right here, the Norco Sight VLT. Voltage, lettuce, tomato. Yes, that's exactly what that stands for. Quick question for all of you, what other bikes would you like to see on the channel? I couldn't do these videos without all of you watching, so thank you. Drop them in the comments below. I love reading through your comments and I try to get back to as many of you as I can. I live a mere 20 miles south of the border with British Columbia. I'm here in Bellingham, Washington, and that right there posed a bit of a challenge for this video. As you probably know, the border between the United States and Canada is currently closed. In British Columbia, e-bikes have wonderful access. Anywhere a pedal-driven bicycle is allowed, a class one e-bike is also okay to go. Here in Washington state, unfortunately, e-bike access is quite restricted and they're currently only allowed for the most part on trails where full-on motorized vehicles are allowed, which would include motorcycles. This is a blessing in disguise though. I went ahead and charged out to some OHV trails where Electric motors and gasoline engines are both permitted. Worked out well because they're trails you don't normally see and they're awesome. Hey bird. Norco was founded in a chicken coop in 1964 by a farmer named Bert Lewis. You know, just a tremendous team of people that are enthused, honest, and, and enjoy what they're doing. Bert moved the company from Burnaby down to where it sits today in Port Coquitlam, BC, which is a whopping 10 minutes below Burke Mountain, which is part of the famous Vancouver North Shore. Today, Norco is one of the largest bicycle manufacturers in North America, producing approximately a quarter million bikes a year. They've also sponsored pro mountain biker Ryan Leach since the beginning of time. Ew. The Site VLT uses 150 millimeter travel carbon frame, 160 mil travel RockShox Lyric fork. It's rolling on 29 inch size wheels, front and rear, and it's using the older Shimano Steps motor system. This is the same motor system that the Pivot Shuttle and the Intense Taser that I featured on this channel both used as well. But this bike has an integrated into the down tube 630 watt hour lithium ion battery. Now in general, e-bikes are still a very young category for mountain biking, and some brands clearly have a lot more experience within this segment than others. Luckily, Norco seems to be doing pretty well, and they made a lot of really good choices when it came to specking out this bike. Some of the highlights that I noticed included the seat post. Bone stock, the size medium bike, uses a 170 mil drop post, and the size extra large uses a 200 mil drop. The small has a full 150 mil drop stock as well. That's fantastic. Now that's important because the seat angle on this bike is really darn steep. As seat angles get steeper, the effective distance from the saddle to the ground ends up being quite a bit higher as well. 
Norco spec 165 millimeter cranks on this bike stock for the size medium. That's fantastic. I wouldn't want to go any longer for an e-bike. I'm also happy the bike came with the E13 chain guide. I haven't had a single chain related issue yet, knock on wood. One of my favorite things about the site is the stock tire choice is perfect. The bike comes stock with Max's double down tires front and rear. It still has stock rubber. I worked at WTB for three years and I still ride WTB tires all the time. I really like them. That said, these Maxxis tires are really good and the double down casing is pretty comparable to the WTB tough casing. As many of you know, here in 2020, mountain biking has hit a bit of a boom and bikes are sold out. Supply is low, demand is high. That's good for the bike industry, but it's also a big challenge as bikes are simply not available right now. Norco wasn't able to get me a new bike for this, which is totally fine. They actually had a real live Canadian. Hey everyone, Derek from Live to Play Sports here. Drive down and drop off a loaner demo bike. And this thing has been well demoed. I mentioned that because a few of the issues I had while testing this bike were related to simply how hammered it's been over the past year of bouncing from bike shop to bike shop to bike shop. That said, I've had a great time riding this bike. This is a very different feeling bike than the Niner WFO E9, and I will definitely be comparing those two bikes when I get to publishing the ride reports. Stay tuned for both of those videos. Let me know what other bikes would you like to see on the channel? Drop me that info in a comment below. It's always a treat reading through your comments. If you haven't yet, hit that little red subscribe button. That'll help me out. And remember, if you want to learn more about the Norco Site VLT, hit that link in the description below over to Jensen USA. Anything you purchase from Jensen will help out my channel and help us keep making videos. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon. Peace.